think the next president uh, should work in a fast food restaurant for a day. So many more new jobs, and ongoing jobs, service jobs. So many of these service jobs are not filled by teenagers, but they're filled by 20-somethings, 30-somethings, regular working people. Finding a way to make sure these service jobs aren't, if not good jobs, at least well compensated jobs. I think actually working one and seeing what a drag it is, is very important. It's housing costs. Um, in our most productive cities here in DC, San Francisco, New York, housing costs are just incredibly high. And that's not so bad for the wealthy, but it's detrimental for middle class people. It creates a barrier for working people who want to live in cities and be next to this productive capacity. And it, it's a, bottle, a bottleneck on younger people who want to move to productive cities to, to do more and to advance their own careers. The United States needs a, needs a stronger labor movement. It needs um, something to organize workers as workers just for the sake of acting as a political counterbalance to corporations and to sort of large formations of capital. I think a lot of our problems right now are directly traced back to the decline of unions. So with that in mind, I think uh, the next president should have a portrait of A. Philip Randolph. Uh, in the White House. Randolph is a hero of the labor movement, someone who helped organize countless African-American workers, and specifically because he helped organize African-American workers, that one of the great weaknesses of the labor movement in the 20th century was the racial divide. And I think going forward, a uh, multiracial labor movement is sort of absolutely necessary to building a country more uh, hospitable to middle-class people. And Randolph, I think, was a pioneer of the kind of labor movement um, that we need.